Hey everyone, it's Andrew here with a quick video for you all today on a few things that you can do to get your financial situation on the right track. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a little excerpt from this fantastic book, George S. Clayson's The Richest Man in Babylon, which I have started reading again uh, for the first time in about 20 years. Uh, and I found a little piece of nugget in the first, first chapter or two that I want to share with you. Um, basically this video is for anyone who like me has struggled with uh, saving money and being financially savvy. Uh, it's taken me a long time to sort my shit out. Uh, so basically, you know, for the majority of my life, my adult life, I've been very flippant with my money, spending on lots of stupid things that just add up and just deplete your money. I've never been real smart with what I've, with the money that I have earned, uh, whether it's been decent amount of money or when, you know, when I have struggled, um, the money just seems to slip through my hands. So uh, over the last year and a half to two years, I've sort of been trying really hard to rectify that situation. I managed to save up enough money to go on a trip to Los Angeles last year, which was something that I was very proud of. I worked very hard for, and I thought I'd share with you a really practical tip uh, as to how I saved that money. So, it, like I said, it's been very hard for me to save money over the years, and one thing that I'm very lucky uh, that I was able to do this uh, was I approached my, my mother and I asked if she could open a bank account in which I could put money in so I couldn't touch it. Now, I've myself over the years, I've opened up various savings accounts with the intentions of, you know, putting X amount of money in this account for a little while to save towards whatever. And, you know, through struggling with jobs and hardship and things like that, you end up dipping into it. Have, haven't really had the willpower to, to sort of stick it out. So I got mum to open this account for me. And what I would do every week was put a little bit of money in there towards holidays and, and fun and a little bit of money towards my bills. So when a bill would pop up, it wasn't a surprise. I had some money in the bank um, that I would get mum to transfer to me and then I would pay my, my bank, my, my bill, sorry. So uh, that's something really, if you've got someone that you trust uh, and who trusts you, uh, and as long as the money isn't going to affect their tax uh, situation or anything like that you know if you're just saving up a couple hundred dollars here and there it's it's something that I think you should definitely look at so approach your parents approach your, your brother your uh, you know mentor uh, guardian godparents whoever uncle auntie who you trust and see if they can open an account for you and just transfer a little bit of your money Every, every week into that account and then when it comes time to pay your bills or when it comes time to go for your trip or buy the car or whatever it is that you're saving for you've got the money there and you haven't actually been able to touch it so keeping that kind of mindset in mind um, the excerpt that I'm going to share with you from the richest man in Babylon is really poignant in terms of uh, putting a little bit of money away. So one of the, the, the first key principles that, the, um, that George S. Clayson speaks about, speaks about in The Richest Man in Babylon is getting into the habit of paying yourself out of every little bit of money that you get, whether it's from, from work or uh, a winning of some type or a windfall, make sure that you pay yourself first before anything else, before your rent, before your food, before your bills, make sure you pay yourself a little bit of money because you've earned it. So here's the excerpt. I think it's really great. Uh, so take uh, okay. So here's the here's the excerpt. A part of all I earn is mine to keep. A part of all I earn is mine to keep. Say it in the morning when you first arise. Say it at noon. Say it at night. Say it each hour of every day. Say it to yourself until the words stand out like letters of fire across the sky. Now that just stood out to me so much. Um, say it to yourself every morning when you wake up. Say it to yourself before you go to bed. Say it to yourself on your payday. Uh, a part of all I earn is mine to keep. Say it in the morning. Say it when you first arrive. Say it at noon. Say it at night. It's really simple. So the the 
the key principle that they talk about wrapped around that point is putting 10% of anything that you earn away straight away um, and without even thinking of it. That way you've paid yourself before you pay anybody else, before you pay your rent, before you pay your bills, you've paid yourself. And after a while you look in the bank and it starts adding up and it makes yourself feel really good about yourself and it keeps you on track for your savings. So really short, simple video today. I just came across that little saying, or the, the little excerpt in the, the book last night, I really wanted to share it with everyone and my experience with having saved a little bit of money. Um, but from here, it's time to really bunker down, save a lot more money and uh, try and look after my future. And I hope you guys can join me on that journey. Uh, if you like this video and it gave you a little bit of inspiration or it's given you, got you back on the right track towards looking after your finances a little bit, I know it's not a massive video, but if you appreciated it, I would love it if you would consider liking and subscribing to the channel uh, and stay tuned for some more videos as I go through the book and as I continue on my journey to wealth and wellness. Thank you.